These pieces are all what I call life masks, the opposite of the death mask. And so what I would do is take a slab of clay, a flat, almost like piece of fabric of clay, put it on my face, and then without seeing my own face, because it's you know, on my face or I can't see what I'm doing, I'm pushing in the material and I'm trying to kind of identify my own face and my own features. And it becomes this kind of living exercise in trying to capture my own face. And then I take it off and then this is what I'm left with. What's up y'all, this is Derek Weisberg. You're in my studio in Bushwick, Brooklyn, and um, I'm originally from California, from the Bay Area. I lived in Oakland for 10 years before moving to New York, which was about five years ago. And I've always been a sculptor. I started making things in ceramics when I was six years old, and it's been the thing I've done my whole life. I think I've always been drawn to objects, things that have an actual physical presence in our world. Um, they just seem a little bit more real to me than something like a painting, which is uh, like a representation or an abstraction almost of something. So I've always been drawn to uh, the real things, things that weight or physicality. So a lot of my work really comes from, from life, from uh, being, a, being a human and having human emotions and human conditions, that, all the things that we struggle with, um, knowing that we're vulnerable, fragile, dysfunctional creatures that are going to have a very specific period of time here on Earth. So a lot of the work deals with you know, issues of uh, longing or loss, um, working through these kind of hardships to um, get some kind of insight into, into life and living and, and human relationships. It's really important for artists to have a space, a studio that's theirs. You know, it becomes like a kind of a sacred space. It's like a spiritual place where you're, you're doing your work. So for me, my space is really important. Um, and, you know, I bring in different references, like, like on the back of that door there, there's different inspiration from different artists, different photographs, pictures that I find emotionally moving, um, you know, I've got to have my speakers and my computer and my music, that's a must, like, I've always got music going on in here. Um, and then as I make work, the walls become almost storage or almost a, an archive of the work. And the nature of the work is such that it evolves and changes, so I might put something up on the wall and then take it down in a couple months and use it in another piece or incorporate it somehow. So it's kind of a living, evolving um, space. For about 20 plus years I was making things in ceramic and clay. So there's a lot of pieces in here made from um, clay. But with, with that you need facilities, you need a kiln. Um, and I only have a small kiln here. So I switched over to using some other materials. Um, I use a lot of plaster. I use a lot of wood, I use a lot of found objects. This is all found material. So my studio practice now is really kind of a, an assemblage of uh, different materials, combinations of things. Just because I'm thinking about like ideas of death or longing or loss, um, I don't necessarily think of them as being sad. They're just reality. It's just something we all deal with. Um, and I think for me, making art is a way for me to kind of exercise those demons, you know? So I can live a lot of my life kind of um, perceivably happy, let's say, because I'm struggling and, and dealing with these issues through my work. So it's kind of a release. The work is a release. And, a lo and it's true, a lot of the work does take on um, kind of melancholy, sad subject matter. For me, that's, it's really important because I want the viewer to put themselves in the work and if they can identify something, you know, if they look at the work and they say, oh, this piece is sad, let's just say, then maybe they identify something within themselves that's making them sad and identifying that's the first step in evolving 
and growing and progressing and becoming a better human being. I'm Derek Weisberg, sculptor, and I'm with Cool People NYC.